So score view is different than piano roll for several reasons, but I'm not gonna name those right now. You're gonna have to watch. Okay, if you're ever so inclined to edit within the score view because you're just so musical savvy, you can definitely do that. So let's go ahead and take a look. We are in the score view now. Now I'm gonna show you how to do a, a couple basic editing uh, musical notations by inserting a note. So it kind of covers all of our bases at the same time. Now the way you want to insert a note is you just head over here to insert and if you click on that down arrow this gives you options to choose whether a whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note, and so on and so on. Now for this I'm gonna choose I'm gonna choose a quarter note. Just because quarter notes you really can't go wrong with them. Now to insert that note, all you have to do is, remember that good old pen tool? Well, it's not necessarily a pen tool within the score view, but if you hold the Apple button and then hover over the staff with your mouse, it does give you a little preview of what the note or where you're placing the note. So since I want the bass note for this musical composition and that is the root note right there. I'm going to click right there. Now one editing move if you want to line up notes within the timeline on the score view. All you have to do simp simply do is click and drag the note left or to the right. And since I want to line this note up with the beginning note right here, just, I'm going to click and drag this to the left. And there we go. So let's take a listen at what we have and how long this note is. As you can see, that bass note wasn't very long. And let's take one more listen. Okay, as you, as you can see, the next chord change uh, is about right here. So we want to extend that bass note to be sustaining that entire time all the way up to here. So another basic editing move is all you have to do is hover over just like that, just like uh, within the MIDI editor. As you can see, this is already turned into like a block shape, just like the MIDI notes. All you have to do is hover over the end and look for that bracket icon and just simply click and drag to the left or right, if you, depending on if you want to shorten the note or if you want to extend the note. And in this case, we are extending the note. So we're going to extend it all the way to this guy right here. And that should bring us to the next chord change. So let's take a listen to it again. All right, sounds good. So there's some basic maneuvers uh, and make sure to have fun. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com.